What is up everybody? Welcome back to Simply a Breeze. My name is Brie, if you're new, and today we are tackling something that I've been putting off again for far too long. Life has been busy and I've just been finding it a little bit harder to get things accomplished, but we're gonna get it done today and that is going to be turning these hamburger buns into breakfast sandwiches for Reed and I to enjoy throughout the month. And that way, if I don't have time to make breakfast in the morning, I'm still getting a homemade breakfast. So here's the story behind the buns real quick while we're waiting for our skillet to heat up so we can start cooking our meat. These buns I purchased, or I asked my fiance to purchase one of the two, um, were purchased for my birthday party get together that we had a week ago. And I 100% Overcalculated how many buns we needed and by that I mean my mind saw four hamburger buns. I knew there were eight in there but when I chose to do my math I did it in multiples of four instead of eight. So we ended up with twice as many buns as we needed. My fiance hasn't let me live it down. He is going to use them he said tomorrow for sandwiches because I got him deli meat and so some of them are gonna get used, but I'm gonna go ahead and use up 16 of them right now and get those taken care of and into the freezer. And then it's one less thing I have to worry about and accomplish. So it's gonna be really simple. I have some goose breakfast sausage and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to brown up this meat. I was originally thinking I was gonna do patties. I didn't like that idea. So I'm gonna ground up, I'm going to brown up both of those packages once it's brown, I'm going to scramble all 16 of those eggs and I'm gonna get it all scrambled up. And then I'm either going to bake the eggs in a muffin top tin and have to bake a couple of rounds, or I'm going to just put it all into a sheet pan. Not sure which I wanna do just yet, but I will accomplish one of those things today. So come along with me as we make some breakfast sandwiches out of hamburger buns that we didn't need. <laughs> so our skillet is getting nice and hot. I'm gonna open both of these packages and we're gonna get the meat browning on up. While we are waiting on our meat to cook up, what I'm also going to do is I'm gonna get all of the eggs cracked and I'm going to scramble them up and dig them.
meat is done. Uh, it's mostly cooked because I'm going to be baking it in the oven with the eggs. Um, I'm not super worried about it being just a little underdone. The oven will finish cooking it off for us. And what I was thinking is I was looking at the size of the buns compared to the size of my muffin top tin. It'll be just a little bit on the oversized side, but I think this is the option that I want to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and grease up these, and then I'm gonna place some of the ground meat into here, and then I'm also going to add a quarter cup of an egg in there. I get the oil spread all around. I'm going with a quarter cup because I scrambled all the eggs. I cracked enough eggs for one egg to be on each breakfast sandwich. And so I'm hoping a quarter cup is enough. And of course, the quarter cup doesn't actually want to stay full. This is just gonna be a blast. Okay, I'm gonna throw just a little bit of salt and pepper. And then we're gonna bake these in the oven. We're gonna set a timer for about 10 minutes and see what that does. And then that beeping that you heard in the background, I am making yogurt and it appears that it is done. So I'm gonna get that taken care of while this is cooking. I'm gonna set a 10 minute timer. Oops. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, honey. Okay, so while we are waiting for the first batch of eggs and meat to bake, I'm gonna go ahead and get some cheese sliced up to top the sandwich. So our timer is going off. I'm gonna go take a look and see if we need to add or take away time. Fantastic, 10 minutes looks like it's enough. All right, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna take these out, let those cool and I'm gonna start another batch.
next time we will use more grease. So, full disclosure, that muffin top tin has been used only once to make muffin tops. The rest of the time I've owned it, it's been used to make breakfast sandwiches because it just makes the egg perfectly fit. An English muffin, right now a hamburger bun, it just fits beautifully. So that's actually why I bought it. So if you are somebody who likes to make breakfast sandwiches, muffin tin top, muffin Muffin top 10. We're gonna finish slicing up this cheese now. I'm gonna go ahead and lay some slices on top of the, the egg pieces that just finished. Okay, so next we're going to go ahead and get these open faced. I'm going to go ahead and put those finished eggs on top of the hamburger buns and I'm going to continue to let them cool. And please don't worry, I cleaned the surface before I started using it. Look, look at how awesome this looks. It fits beautifully on the sandwich, with the cheese, and then boom. Voila! Our first six are done, and we're gonna do this with the other 12, or no, the other 10. We're gonna do this with the other 10.
So we're still waiting on the last four of the eggs to cook, um, but which will use up the last four of these buns. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap these individually in saran wrap. Then I'm just gonna reuse these bags. That way these bags don't go to waste just as quickly. Um, and then I have something to store them in and I don't have to waste another plastic bag essentially. Um, but that's it, that is what we're doing. So hopefully this gave you some inspiration to use up some bread that you bought in excess and you didn't know what to do with it. Hang on. But that's, that's as simple as that. You can make these breakfast sandwiches with um, English muffins or any other type of bread that you have on hand. You can make it with a little, you can make it with bagels, you can make it with bagel thins. Um, really there's no limit as long as you're creative. And I've never actually done the egg mixed with the um, ground meat before. I've actually made patties in the past, but this just seemed easier to me this time around. And I'm not disappointed with the way it turns out. I'm sure it's gonna taste delicious. I'll have one tomorrow to test out. I'll take a video and I'll insert it here for you to view. Um, but this is easy. It's gonna be a nice convenience meal. None of our buns went to waste. I have found that whenever I throw excess hot dog buns or hamburger buns into the freezer, they get lost in the abyss and they eventually end up getting heavy things thrown on top of them and they just kind of fall apart and disintegrate. And then my efforts to save them for later fail. And I didn't want to do that again this time. So I'm hoping this is a nice convenient way for me to not waste my hamburger buns that I bought in excess. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you learned something new. Um, and let me know if you make any meal prep and how you go about it. But I would love it if you hit that subscribe button. Um, let me know if you like this by hitting the thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. We are either in the kitchen or in the garden. Have a wonderful night. <laughs> Bye.